Ribbon composite restorations are rapidly gaining in popularity and are especially popular among those who promote minimally invasive dentistry. In particular, Ribbon has become an important role in the techniques recommended and taught by the Academy of Biomimetic Dentistry. This video will first show the technique and then finish with the descriptions of the benefits of this technique. There are many different classes of composite restorations in which Ribbon can be used. Regardless of the particular class of the restoration, there are a couple of technique principles that are common to the use of Ribbon for all types of restorations. These principles are Cover as much of the interior surface area of the preparation beneath the dentin enamel junction as possible with Ribbon. Bond the Ribbon pieces as close to the tooth structure as possible. Minimize the bond line thickness between the fibers and the surfaces of the teeth. The thinner the bond line is, the less resin there will be that can experience polymerization shrinkage between the fibers and the tooth structure. Thick bond lines will increase the chances of voids, defects, leakage, and sensitivity. This video shows an overview for using Ribbon for a Class 1 composite restoration. Greater detail is provided in the Ribbon instruction manual, which includes different cavity preparations and techniques. The Ribbon cavity liner can be constructed using a variety of techniques. It can be constructed using multiple overlapping smaller pieces or using larger continuous pieces. When using the larger pieces, they can be laid down against the cavity walls in a buccal lingual and mesial distal direction, or as a circumferential liner against the cavity walls. In this video, we are demonstrating the multiple overlapping small pieces technique. Cut pieces of ribbon. Open the plastic packaging and use cotton pliers to remove the ribbon. Cut the ribbon with the special ribbon scissors. Ribbon is made from the same ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene fibers used to make bulletproof vests and normal scissors will not cut it. Reseal the ribbon by folding over the end of the packaging and secure it with a paperclip. This will help to maintain ribbon's indefinite shelf life. Wet the ribbon with resin. Wet the first piece of ribbon with a fourth generation unfilled adhesive bonding resin. Use a lint-free material such as a piece of the patient's bib and blot off the excess resin from the wetted ribbon. Do not wet the ribbon with a bonding resin that contains a dentin primer or self-etching component. If you do not have a suitable resin already in your office, Ribbon Incorporated offers the Ribbon Wetting Resin, which is an unfilled bonding resin designed for wetting the ribbon fibers. Prepare the tooth for bonding. Prepare the tooth for bonding following the manufacturer's directions for the bonding resins that you use. Apply composite to the teeth. Apply a thin layer of viscous flowable composite. Ribbon Incorporated offers the Ribbon Securing Composite, which was specially formulated for this application. The Ribbon Securing Composite is a viscous, highly radio-opaque, flowable composite, which can easily be displaced by the Ribbon during adaptation. Unlike a standard flowable composite, the Ribbon Securing Composite is tacky and will hold the Ribbon in position prior to curing. These qualities allow for the predictable placement of the Ribbon while minimizing the bond line thickness between the fibers and the surfaces of the tooth. As mentioned earlier, the closer the fibers are bonded to the teeth, the better the results will be. If you do not have the Ribbon Securing Composite, you can use a standard flowable composite for this step. However, please note that the standard flowable composites lack the tackiness to predictably hold the Ribbon in position prior to curing, which could lead to voids, defects, or thick bond lines. If using a standard flowable composite, take extra care to make sure there are no voids and that the ribbon is closely bonded to the surfaces of the teeth. Also, if using a non-radio-opaque composite resin, please note that the ribbon might appear as a void in the radiograph. Place the ribbon. Press the ribbon pieces through the composite in the tooth. Using instruments, closely adapt the ribbon against the tooth surfaces. Press the ribbon all the way through the composite so that there is only a micro-thin layer of composite resin between the ribbon and the tooth surface. A silicon-tipped instrument, as shown in the video, will help prevent the ribbon from sticking to the instrument. Do not cure yet. If you find that your instrument pokes through the woven ribbon material during placement, Ribbon Incorporated offers a special placement instrument. 
This instrument is approximately 0.5 millimeters wide at the tip and has a V-shaped groove that engages a thread during placement and prevents the tip from poking through the woven material. This instrument is especially helpful for carrying the ribbon into root canals and deep into narrow class 1 preparations. This instrument is also useful for picking up small pieces of ribbon and carrying the ribbon to the tube. Place additional pieces of ribbon. After the first piece of ribbon is placed, continue applying overlapping pieces of wetted ribbon. Cover as much of the cavity preparation as possible with the overlapping ribbon pieces. Leave a space 1 mm to 1.5 mm below the occlusal margin. As previously stated, be sure that the ribbon is pressed as closely as possible against the cavity walls. Cure. Thoroughly cure all the ribbon pieces. Incrementally fill with composite. Continue with the restoration by incrementally layering and curing composite resin into the preparation. Add a piece of ribbon towards the occlusal surface. For added fracture toughness to the entire tooth restoration complex, add a piece of ribbon to the top of the composite buildup before the final occlusal layer of composite is placed. This layer should be placed approximately 1.5 millimeters beneath the occlusal surface of the restoration, so that it does not become exposed when the occlusal surface is finished and polished. This layer of ribbon acts as a stress distribution and stress absorbing mechanism and minimizes the Poisson effect, which is the phenomenon where a material is compressed in one direction, it expands in two directions perpendicular to the direction of compression. Finish the restoration. Place occlusal composite, contour, and finish the restoration. Why and how ribbon composite restorations work. Published research articles confirm that incorporating ribbon into composite restorations provides the following benefits. Increased microtensile bond strength. The microtensile bond strength of the composite is significantly increased when ribbon is closely adapted and bonded against the cavity walls. This is explained in Dr. Seema Belli's research, published in the Journal of Adhesive Dentistry in 2006. Mitigating the harmful effects of C-factor. Increased microtensile bond strength decreases the negative effect of C-factor. This phenomenon is especially evident with deep and narrow class one restorations. Minimizes polymerization shrinkage and decreases leakage. Polymerization shrinkage can result in leakage and sensitivity. Closely lining the preparation with ribbon significantly reduces and minimizes these harmful effects. Because the ribbon is closely adapted to the cavity walls, there is less volume of composite to shrink and less polymerization shrinkage, resulting in less leakage and less sensitivity. Bridging cracks on the pulpal floor. Ribbon bridges the cracks that are commonly seen in the pulpal floor of old amalgam restorations. Ribbon acts like staples across the cracks and holds the tooth together. Relieves causes and symptoms of split tooth syndrome. Split tooth syndrome has been predictably relieved when ribbon has been used as a buccal lingual cross cusp splint under the occlusal surface to bridge cracks. The cross cusp ribbon splint prevents the parts of the split tooth from moving. Increases fracture toughness. Ribbon fiber reinforcement greatly increases the fracture toughness of dental composite restorations. Ribbon's unique combination of fixed nodal intersections and tough ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene fibers inhibits and prevents crack propagation in composite resin. Stress distribution and energy absorption mechanism. Ribbon acts as a stress distribution and energy absorption mechanism. It minimizes the stress concentrations by distributing forces over a greater area, which prevents crack formation and propagation. Fail-safe design. Studies demonstrate that if a crack starts in a ribbon line composite restoration, the crack is redirected. If a crack leads to failure, the restoration tooth complex fails safely and the tooth can be retreated. In the case of standard composite restoration techniques, when the restoration tooth complex fails, it tends to fail catastrophically and the tooth must be extracted. Alternative to crowns. Ribbon allows dentists to restore severely damaged teeth that normally would be treated with crowns. 
Ribond reinforces thin shells of teeth and unifies remaining tooth structure by distributing stress concentrations over a greater area and prevents further damage to the compromised tooth. The Ribond company is happy to have played a role in the development of these techniques. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching.